so this is my review for season 9 episode 12 housekeeping one thing I have to get out of the way during the first few minutes of the episode the sound kept cutting in and out and it really bothers me because for a second my brain is like who the f just swore okay first off a few random things I liked EJ being all you have to take my word for it and Siva being like why I can't even imitate the delivery of that line it was amazing I lolled also principal Figgins was in this episode I forgot he was gonna be in an episode he was great and I love how he's all like these are not the droids you were looking for it was great principal Figgins is his character on Glee just if you don't know. And I also liked how Abby got a sandwich from Gibbs. That was just fun. So moving on, a big fixture of this episode was the EJ. And I love how they end up fighting like, I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. We have a highly functioning ship here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, probably my major complaint of this episode was I do not think it was wise from a storytelling point to have the first third of the episode focus on who's that blonde girl? Was there was there anyone watching out there who didn't know it was EJ? I mean, if you're a casual viewer and for some reason you've just missed all of the promos, then yeah, maybe it was a surprise. I just have to say that for the first 20 minutes of this episode, I wasn't really all that invested in it because that's the big mystery of that first act or so. Who is this blonde lady? Well, of course it's EJ. It just bothered me because I'm just not invested in it as a viewer. Bottom line, EJ should have shown up earlier in this episode, having like a 30 year episode depend on like this mystery. It's just not a good way to structure the episode, in my humble opinion. So it seems like EJ's MO, she goes missing a lot. You know, why is Tony drawn to these women that go missing all of the time? I mean, EJ's gone missing twice and Tony's had to devote some time to looking for her, according to him. Okay, whatever. Call me when he checks himself into a Somalian prisoner of war camp. Okay, then I will care. So that's pretty much my inner Tiva shipper. I mean, EJ really wasn't that annoying in this episode. I just, I just love making fun of her. It's so easy. Although, it, it seems she ships Tiva now? Okay. It's not the first time that a character has been like, hey, you guys. I don't know. It seemed to come out of kind of like left field for me. I mean, maybe I'm alone. That's cool. In my opinion, it just seemed a little bit like, Wait, what? Uh, another thing about this episode I have to poke fun of is, uh, you know, the Watcher Fleet uh, Phantom 8 thing. I mean, is it like common if you're a covert, super secret spy group or whatever the heck they were? Is it common that you guys all get together for a group pose? Hey, Bob, I got us these matching leather jackets. We're going to look so boss. Uh, moving on, Mr. Christian is like the worst dog ever. This is why I'm a cat person. I mean, Mr. Christian is kind of a floozy of a dog. I mean, you can stab his master and he'll run away with you. As long as you promise him some bacon bits, he's good to go. They should have brought back the wet dog from Kill Era. You know, the one in the gazebo? That dog had talent. He could emote. One thing I liked but didn't like about this episode, it was really a lot of mixed feelings, was the whole... Uh, safe house. I love that it got blown up and there was a bazooka. I mean, I'm easily like that. That that pleased me as far as an NCIS episode goes. But I kind of saw it coming a mile away that it was the whole, like, we gave you the raw location for the safe house. I mean, has that even been done before? It feels like it hasn't been done before. Maybe in Spire of the Fly, maybe in Shalom. I don't even know. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed the following chase scene. I thought that was really well done. For some reason, it just didn't feel like NCIS. I don't know why, but I liked it. Uh, lots of bullets, lots of action, good chase scene. I mean, this is a scene that even though I know that McGee, Ziva, or Gibbs aren't going to die, it still had that tension, so that was really well done. I guess it's not so much like the usual NCIS, because in the usual NCIS, Gibbs would, like, you know, jump out of a bush and just pistol with them. Right? Uh, so finally in this episode, we had some Tiva-ish stuff. Yes. It all started off in the beginning in the squad room, you know, Tony talking about Wendy, Ziva talking about how Ray, he's just not calling. What's wrong with that guy? And Ziva's all, maybe I'm done waiting. Maybe it's time we both took some action. Maybe, maybe you should go have sex with your partner in the supply closet. Or elevator, or locker room, or bathroom. There's lots of different choices. Just go check the fan fiction. I mean, if we're just brainstorming, I'm just gonna throw that one out there and you can take that and run with it if you like. Uh, I really did enjoy the last scene between Tony and Ziva and they're kind of like getting close and I knew he was gonna call. I knew he was gonna call. And then Tony's like, seriously? Seriously? I think I'm gonna put a link to a post on Tumblr that just kind of captured that moment perfectly. You know, I liked that last final scene. I knew we weren't gonna get any actual Tiva. It was just, it'd be too good to be true. But it was a nice tease and we kind of have to take what we can get. 
Anyway, finally, I'm going to give this episode a 4 out of 5. I don't know. Overall, I liked it. There were some things wrong with it, but... I don't know, there was Tiva, so it kind of has to get a 4 out of 5. Uh, really, as an episode, though, it wasn't perfect, but it kept me watching. Sometimes in certain episodes, like, I kind of... I don't have 100% interest because I have a short attention span, especially when my laptop's there. Uh, but this is an episode that really did draw me in and keep me watching, so I gotta give it a 4 out of 5. So let me know in the comments what you thought about this episode. What would you rate it out of a possible 5 calf bows? Come with me, I have bacon bits.